Ever wonder why all those high-level PVMers have that stupid blowpipe as an override? Well, it's not because it looks good, I can tell you that much. In fact, the blowpipe looks pretty bad, but as an override, it actually helps you in PVM. This is something that's unique to the range style as certain abilities with range have a travel time and depending on the type of weapon you use that travel time can change and it takes your override as what weapon you have equipped. First let's knock out a huge caveat, these overrides do not change the amount of damage you deal, you will deal the same amount of damage with the same ability regardless of your override. But at the same time, what it does is decrease the travel time for certain abilities to reach them. And the best way to see this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. For this test, I equipped a Hex Hunter bow with Araxite arrows and otherwise naked. I attacked a dummy from melee distance once with the override on and once without the override on with piercing shot. As you can clearly see, the one on the right, the one with the blowpipe override, hit one tick earlier than the no override one on the left. While well, the damage is the exact same at 1627, getting your damage dealt earlier is always better. There are a couple more abilities that it works for. Greater Ricochet, Snapshot, Rapid Fire, Dazing Shot. But the craziest one of all is Greater Ricochet. It causes the main hit to appear one tick earlier, and then that also causes the bonus hits to appear one tick earlier. By the time you've dealt 1731 damage without the override, you've done 6921 with the override on. Just insane. Sure, you get the rest of the damage later from Greco, but having it being delayed a tick can lead to slower kill times. Before we go any further, I'd like to mention that they also work with darts if you are dual wielding. It has the same sort of travel time effect with different parameters. On screen I have a list of abilities and how close you need to be to the target in order to get the effect. This effect is often why you see rangers stay close to their targets. Feel free to pause right here if you want to just take note of the full list or take a screenshot. Uh, I'm just going to keep going on with the video. This is very noticeable at phase type bosses that you use ranged and there are three that I'd like to highlight. First off is Nex. This is the queen of the override because there are so many phase transitions that you can really save some time with this. There are five base transitions going into each of the phase and you save one tick per transition. You would end up saving three seconds on the kill. And if you do a thousand Nex kills, that's one hour saved or almost one hour saved. On top of that, if next phase is one tick earlier, that means the minion is attackable one tick earlier, which means you can potentially kill it quicker and get back to phasing next and dealing damage to it again. It sounds like a small amount, but it can really add up as the kills go on. Next up is Raksha, and Raksha is incredibly important to phase on time. It has a unique effect where if it reaches the HP to go into the next phase, while it's in the middle of a ranged or maged auto attack, then it becomes invulnerable until the auto attack animation is done. This means that if you get the phasing just before an auto attack, you can actually end up saving yourself 3 seconds instead of just 0.6 seconds. Parlay that with the fact that there are 3 phase transitions and you're looking at potentially getting 5 or more seconds saved each kill from having this override on with the otherwise identical gear setup. I personally had a noticeable decrease to my average kill time once I put darts on as an override for my dual wield blight bounce. Not to mention that if you save an auto attack you're also saving yourself from damage taken and you can convert that lack of damage taken into more damage onto the boss. The last boss I want to talk about is Next Angel of Death. It's very common for teams to push for DPS and try to DPS as hard as possible while they are at AOD. And one of the main pillars of getting quick Angel of Death kills is phasing early. The earlier you finish phase 1, the earlier next becomes attackable again on phase 2. And the earlier you phase 2, the earlier that next becomes attackable again on phase 3. Basically, it can start to compound quickly and you can really feel the difference. Also, there is a benefit to being in sync with your teammates. You can overphase next where you deal a lot of damage in one tick, making the amount of damage you need to do in the next phase much less. If you happen to be the only ranger on the team without the override, you're going to struggle in helping out the team with the overphase. 
While I only listed these three bosses, this override works pretty much everywhere. As long as you're able to be close to the target, you'll get the benefits, whether it be getting one more hit in before Reflect on Virago, or just wanting to kill Kriara slightly faster so that you can get the collection done that much quicker. This override can be for you. I bought the blowpipe this morning for this video and it was about 55 mil. So it is a costly purchase for what is a minor upgrade, but I think that it can be something you buy before you go for any of the big boy investments like ECB, SGB, or Elite Serenic. But at the same time, I wouldn't bother with this override until you at least have Greater Ricochet, as you're going to get the most benefit out of it for Greater Ricochet. So that's going to be the video, a bit of a short one today, but I didn't want to drag this out much longer than it needed to be. If you have any thoughts about the blowpipe or the video, leave a comment out down below. If you're liking the content I'm creating, consider subscribing. We just hit 10,000 subscribers a couple videos ago, and that was really cool. So thank you very much for that. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Feels really silly to ask, but it really helps the video get pushed to more and more people. But past that, have a good day and I'll catch you in the next one.